What's up guys, Vulcan here, and today we're going to talk about the best places to farm hemp fibers. So these farming routes are going to be incredible for quickly leveling up your harvesting, getting over 5,000 fibers per hour, and then selling your haul to make tons of gold early on. So make sure to check out my video on how to speed run the first 30 minutes of the game so that way you can get ahead of the pack and have first dibs on these routes so you can maximize those farming loops. So hands down, the best place to farm hemp, like in the world, in New World rather, is in Primrose, which is just west of Windsward. This is a massive grassland and seems to be the central place that hemp spawns. I mean, here you can literally farm thousands of fibers incredibly fast. And because hemp spawns so quickly, you never have to stop moving. You can continue just running that route until you're completely full. But before we get into the route, let's take a look at today's video sponsor. Today, we're going to try out a real diamond in the rough in the world of mobile games. I started playing Hero Wars. So this is an online role-playing action game with a variety of PvP and PvE modes. Here I can fight against powerful bosses and experience the story. Now this campaign style is great, it feels like a classic fantasy game, and while completing missions I can also go out and collect loot, upgrade my champions, and really customize a lot of different features. Now this game has more than 50 unique heroes and each one has unique abilities. You can combine and assemble different teams to battle in the arena or you can traverse the endless tower. But the main party happens online. You can create guilds, fight with other players and constantly rise in rank. You can join the game now and get a super chest with a secret hero as well as 62 emeralds and 30,000 gold. Hero Wars is available on mobile devices and also runs in the web browser. You can scan this QR code or download the game from the link in the description below. I'll see you guys there. So the route itself is a little bit of a horseshoe. It starts in the middle of Primrose and then heads west, loops back up to north of Primrose. And this route is a little different than other farming routes because here you're going to see hemp all over the place, all over the place. And because of that, you need to break route every now and then to go harvest big bushels. So don't feel like you have to stay in route, break the path, go ahead, do that, grab the resource and then get back on the path. So one thing I wanted to mention as well is that there is a farm just to the west of Fisherman's Bend where there are level 20 undead and this has rows and rows and rows of hemp. It's dried and dead hemp, but you can still harvest it for fibers. And it seems like most people assume that it's just kind of decoration, but that stuff can 100% be picked. So make sure to get it if you're high enough level and aren't gonna get completely worked over like I did. It's just, it was ridiculous. So the only threat that you need to watch out for in this entire place, besides the level 20 undead, is the corrupted part of Primrose. This has level 18 to 20 enemies, and these can sneak up on you, right? Because they're like the little half you know, enemies that crawl around in the grass like snakes. So you need to watch out for those guys. Other than that, this is a 100% safe route. You can easily farm it at level 10 or 12. Now keep in mind that all of these nodes will respawn every 10 to 12 minutes. So if you run past a node that's been farmed, it'll most likely respawn on your next run. So never skip a stop. Make sure to run the full route. This area also has a ton of of dragon glory. I'm talking a ton of dragon glory. This is going to give you fire essence. So once your harvesting gets high enough, which shouldn't take long at all, make sure you grab some of these along the way. That way you can either craft with them or sell them. Now there are other farming routes out in the world that you can use, but after a few hundred hours in the game, this is the best loop that I've been able to find. So that wraps this one up, folks. I hope this has helped you guys get started on farming some hemp and making tons and tons of gold and making those big crafting gains that we're all after. Thank you everyone for the support. This has been Vulcan and I will talk to you guys on the next one.